when you're trying to reach a decision maker at a company, there's a, a, a few, I'm going to give you guys two tips that have worked for me to get on the phone with public company CEO. So that's about as hard as it gets to, to reach, right, guys? Mm -hmm. So uh, my first tip, number one, is call or email them super early in the morning, East Coast time. The boss is at work early. He is there early. So if you want to get a hold of the guy who is the decision maker without any red tape, without the secretary being there, there's a good chance that if you call at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning on Monday through Friday, they will be there. They will pick up the phone. So that that's one tip. Another tip is um, my second tip, which works well when you're calling during hours, is just ask for them by first name. Right. So if I'm calling the CEO of a company and Todd Welch is the CEO, I'm not calling and saying, hey, can I speak to Mr. Todd Welch or hey, can I speak to Todd Welch? I'm calling and saying, hey, it's Nick. Can I you put Todd on the phone? Mm -hmm. Right. And that'll usually cut um, at least some of the friction, whether it's red tape, you know, a secretary or some kind of barrier to entry. Those two things. So. Yep. Act like you, you know, you're, you're someone yeah, we already you know so you can get past the gatekeeper. Exactly. Exactly. We're somebody we already know. And by the way, we are people we already should know each other because we're here to make money, right? That's the attitude. You're as is sales. I always tell people sales is easy. Sales is the process of giving someone what they already want anyway. Too often people think that sales techniques are you trying to sell something. That's the, that's, bad sales. Good sales is just getting in front of somebody that already wants to do that. So, you know, vetting the list of suppliers and vetting who you want to open accounts with is important because they're probably in the business of doing that already. So there's not going to be a lot of friction when you're selling. This goes for any kind of sales. If you're, if you're doing really good sales, high sales, you're giving people what they want. So it's not hard to sell somebody something that they already want. And that's really the, the the trick to sales, right? Is get in front of people that already want it. Yeah, and a lot of times you can find out uh, the person you want to talk to just by going on LinkedIn and looking up the company, find out who the VP of sales is or whatever the case may be. And then you can address them by name, maybe look through their profile, find out some of their interests and likes, and then you got something to talk about too. Oh, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And I'll take it a step further to let you guys know how, how wild I am with it. I'm hawking them on, on all over the internet, right? I'm finding your Facebook, I'm finding your Twitter, I'm finding your LinkedIn, I'm finding your YouTube videos. I am searching you because the three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes of due diligence takes you miles with credibility. Mm -hmm. Miles with credibility, right? And it shows you're not just a cold call. You're not just another phone number. You're not just a random number that called today. No, oh, this is Nick. Oh, he looked me up. He looked, this funny guy looked me up on Facebook, right? You have something that helps you set yourself apart from the other people. So it builds a lot of credit. I definitely recommend that.